E aí galerinha, quem fala aqui é o Kuturu Hitokiri, para mais um vídeo para vocês, tudo belezinha? Olá galerinha, esse jogo é do mesmo dos criadores de Farload, tá? Farload New Vegas. Ok. Vamos ver as configurações. Então, 3D, muito blue, nip. Uh, feito, deixa eu ver aqui. Quero customizar. Aí, customize. Sombras. Textura. Perfeito visual. Colhagem. Outra. Conversão cromática? Não. Uh, Beleza, áudio, vou colocar aqui, beleza, legendas, controle, habilidade, interface, Gama Campo de visão Vídeo de tela Já ah. em alto, tudo em alto tá ótimo, tá excelente hum. Tá Super nova Bom, como é a primeira vez que eu vou jogar ele, eu sei que a gente pode mudar isso aqui depois, né? Então eu vou no difícil. Ah, legendas, tamanho do texto. Isso aí. Beleza. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon colony. <laughs> of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Ok, vamos lá. Atributos. Tá. Força, destreza, inteligência, percepção, Charme, temperamento, ah, eu vou com inteligência. Ah, oh, seu 
your test scores were better than mine. Almost. Tá. Destreza. Uh, percepção. Percepção. Habilidades. Arma branca. Tem bastante coisa, hein? E ciência, medicina, engenharia. Atividade, determinação, inspiração. Persuasão, mentira, intimidação. A... Uh... Armas longas. Só de armas longas, né? Como é que eu gasto os pontos aqui? Não? Tá, armas pesadas? Tem dois pontos disponíveis ali, mas não tá gastando. Então. Como é que faz? Avançar. Bom, hein? Good. I need ah. for self preservation. Tá, tem que clicar em cima da dessa bolinha aqui. Tá. We'll put those marksmanship scores to good use. Hum. You Como que... make a vicar doubt the law. Como que é Farload, né? Menino criado de Farload, a gente sabe que vai ter muito, muito, muito diálogo. Bom. Beleza. Uh, Pitidão. Uh, determinação. Procata. Pistão. Mais coisa? Vou colocar um Ciência. Uh, gênio. Difícil, viu? Rosto bonito não tem, não. Aí eu vou... Meu pai amado. <risos> Meu Jesus. Tá, vamos ver aqui em rostos. Nossa, tem muita coisa. Muita coisa. Ah. Meu Jesus. <risos> é, tá. aqui meu amigo a mãe mentiu pra você na infância hein nossa que horror é, pode ser cor de pele ah, 
Deixa eu digitar a sobrancelha. Não, isso aqui é a direção. Ah, tamanho do olho. Queixo, boca. Ah, aqui dá pra dar uma melhorinha, hein? É... Tá, eu acredito que isso deve, deve mexer com isso depois, né? Inclinação... Ah, o queixo... Nossa, tem muita coisa... Cabelo... É, assim parece mais a minha. O que? Coração. Corte de cabelo aqui. Agora que eu vi coloração. É. Assim é mais meu naipe. Uh, vamos ver aqui. Maquiagem. Ah, tá. Os machucados. Tardas. Manchas. Tá, vamos acelerar esse negócio. Ah, beleza. Sujeira. Né, não. Fica triste. Mais minha cara, idade. Hum, nem tão velha assim, né? Minha idade, né? Tá bom, minha idade tá bom, ótimo. Ah, vamos lá. Só 16 letras? Ok. Nossa. Uh, resumo. Nossa, tem muita coisa. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend.
Terra 2, Laboratório Órbita, Sistema Bonança. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, a smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you.
Ahí está. Medicina. Ah, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Tá, vamos ver. É, como você está se sentindo? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own, or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired, right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Hmm. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Hmm. Pessoal, Jimmy, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed at that time. Hmm. Beleza. Uma arminha. Tem alguma coisa aqui? Não. Ok, complicações de invernação detectada, dilatação temporal tática. Ah. Beleza. É, é o Vault, né? Ah. 
Beleza. Pega isso aqui. Não, eu quero pegar. Aqui. Aqui ano e, e arrombamento. Tá, deixa eu... Bom, desmembra... desmembramento tem, né? Tá, eu joguei dois nessa arma. Vamos ver se é o mesmo esquema. Tá. Beleza. Gerenciamento de arma. Nosso personagem. Nossa arma. Faca. Hum. Tá bem especificado. Gostei. Bastão. É só mais a faca. Tá. Ah, beleza. A gente pode colocar, né? Vou deixar um, dois. Também de armadura. Beleza. Consumíveis. Notificações, inventário, ações, diário. Informações básicas. Tá. Tem mapa? Tem, tem mapa. É, tem bastante coisa. Bom. É, o que eu posso dizer sobre esse jogo? Além de ser como o Farload, ele é de mundo aberto. A gente vai ter que craftar, a gente vai ter bastante diálogo. É, vai ser no mesmo esquema. A diferença é que a gente vai ficar indo em planeta em planeta. Oi? É. Eu juro que eu nem vi esse cara aqui. Quero a faca, quero a faca. Oi? Beleza. Cadê o outro? Tem um outro, tem mais um, né? Cura. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Hmm. Really? How is he? Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. 
Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense, I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Ok. Vamos lá. Pessoadinha, eu posso mentir, eu posso intimidar. Uh... Sometimes management's real good at cost benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Okay. Huh. Man. Olha, ele tá nem aí, tá andando de boa, né, meu chegado? Oh, o cara se rendeu, mano. Não vai matar ele, não. Que mais? Beleza. Nada. Ah. Bom, o gráfico. Belezinha, né? This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Ok. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Mm. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. A 
astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Beleza, nível 2. A nave é nossa agora. Ok, sub de nível. Ah, não. Ah, não, só quero dar uma exploradinha na nave. É... Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Beleza. is in need of repair or modification. The crux too. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. Okay. A gente pode craftar dentro da nave. Beleza. Posso ir dormir. Bancada. Ok. Cada bancada. Ajustes. Hum. Tem bastante faca, hein? Ajustar. Consertar. Desmontar. Desmontar, né? Recurso, né? Uma faca só. O que, que é isso? Uma arma de mão de duas mãos. Tá, ajuste. Beleza. Modificar. Bacana. Tá. Melhorias de habilidades. É... Vamos lá, pessoas, nós temos início engenharia. Engenharia, hein? Ah, tá, ele evolui, evolui três de uma vez. Ah, tá, então um ponto evolui três. Ok. Direção, liderança. As marcas. Ah, eu tenho oito pontos. Então, vamos, vamos caprichar nesse negócio aqui, invasão. E ó. Melhorar bastante. Aumente para abrir lugares. Medicina. Yes. Tá, vamos. Um... Peraí. Vai clicar, ué. Resumo. Ah, eu já fiz aí. O que mais isso aqui? O mais queres? Beleza. Ah, que talentos. Tá. Ah, vida da base. Realmente esse jogo tem muita coisa, viu? Então...
Tá me interessando aqui. Um só? Um só. Beleza. Detalhe. Reputação. É neutro. Bom, é de se esperar, né? Tá. Ah, eu peguei essa. Conserto de itens. Tá, eu quero. Coloca essa arma aqui. E essa aqui. Diário. Fantásticas. O que é? Tutorial. Não é o ideal fazer isso, né? <risos> tá, a gente defende. A gente só não tem terceira pessoa, pelo que eu tô vendo aqui. A gente vai só em primeira pessoa mesmo? Tá, nós fomos ali. Bora. This wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Ah, não, que isso? Ah. Vou mentir. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Beleza. Bom, eu tinha a opção de matar eles, mas como que é um jogo que tem facções, né? Eu não quero já tornar inimigo dessa facção logo de início, não, né? Tem uns objetivo de 300 e pouco. Ali parece que tem alguma coisa. A vontade de explorar é grande, tá, galerinha? Olha, tem uma outra nave ali. Primata gigante. É inimigo. Nossa, você não perde sangue, não? Vamos na face. Face, face. meu. Deixa eu Tá muito lá. Nossa, sem sangue, você é gigante, hein? Tá. Tá guardado, deu ruim. Dá a chance de você viver, meu, meu chegado. Pô, oh, esse gorila aí não. Pega outro, mano. 
Ah, mano, você tá enchendo sangue, aí você é... Aí não vale, né? Bora. Bora que não ganha mais. Deixa eu dar uma clareada nesse jogo, porque o gama dele tá bem... Bem, 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 bem... Divisão. Nossa. Tem muito pé da letra, hein? Tá doido. Tá, vamos ajustar esse negócio aqui. Né? B. Melhor. 50%. Beleza. Pronto. Foi. Foi. É, melhorzinho. Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Hmm. You pod. What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Hmm. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a might delinquent in paying their dues, you see. still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Beleza. Mostrei a missão. Missão ativa. Veja rápido. Destroço antigo. Vamos lá.
Opa, tem umas travadinhas. Meu mas em geral. Pisoiar nunca é demais, né? Ah, tem que ter três poder. Beleza. O negócio é explorar mesmo, que coisa armadura tá vender lixo ok Bem no estilo falando de mesmo, né? bem, bem, bem mesmo. Terminal. Lá. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Hmm. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Hmm. 
Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Oh, yeah. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Mm. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. The geothermal plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. Could use the power. Cannery's been struggling. If we don't ramp up productivity, the company might cut us loose. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great. I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Hmm. Ok, nossa primeira companheira. Beleza. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Ok, vambora. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Can we talk? Podemos, vem cá. Sorry, I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. Hmm... Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Hmm. 
Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Really is. Yeah, huh? Uh. That's on account of how I never met her. It's hard to miss what you never knew. I don't ponder it over much. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Hum, ainda não tem três percepção. Oh, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Please, come on. Ah, companheira. Ah, temos um comando aqui. Ah, a gente pode mandar eles. É. Sure. Yes. Bora. Ok, moving out. What is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling? This season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. What? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked her to do? them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Mm. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, 
tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Beleza. Mais uma secundária. Como eu disse, galerinha, é um jogo que tem bastante diálogo, tá? Então, é para quem não é acostumado, acha muito estranho. Ou para quem já jogou os parloads, né? Já tá bem que acostumado. Tá? Vamos lá. Que isso dá para pegar? Não. get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. How long we here? Hmm. Tá. Vamos desmontar esse aqui. Tem muita arma. Ou a gente pode dar para ela, né? Deixa eu ver primeiro o que, que eu tenho aqui. O que é o que? Lança granada? Oh. Interessa mais, né? Tá, vamos arrumar essa faca aqui. Vamos ver o que, que ela tem. Não tem nenhum. Também não tem nenhum. Não tem nenhum. Ué? Oh! Ajustar. Ah, tá. Aumenta o dano, né? Beleza. Mudou alguma coisa? Uma coisa aqui? Where we headed? Vamos embora. Muito bacana. Tá da porta, né? The law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Uh. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. War, the coming apocalypse, man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. 
cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw, a few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Yes. Máquinas de vendas. Opa, tem uma arma aqui que eu quero, hein? Rifle de caça. Cadê esse rifle de caça, hein? Hum. Não vai comprar, não? É 180, hein? Eu tenho. Posso comprar não? Ah, agora comprou. Deixa eu vender aqui. É... Coisa extra. Esse aqui é... Só. Hum. Vendo essa 12. Essa outra aqui. É só de rango, né? Rango traje. <risos> tá, vambora. Parece que não tem inimigo. Será que nada? Não, não nada. Acho que podia ser um pouco melhorzinho, mas... Vale.
Hum. É, se fosse no outro, a gente se fosse um parload se carinha sem os trajes, né? Mas enfim. Tá, nós temos ponto disponível. Ah, eu ainda vou me mexer logo alcance. E medicina, furtividade, ah, liderança. Tá. Tecnologia, eu vou investir bastante tecnologia. Talento, não tenho. Temos objetivo lá na frente. Ah, mas eu quero. Quero antes. Mediar aqui. Tá, manual ilustrado. Sobre taxas, vou fazer isso aqui. Tá mais perto. Chegou? Esse vídeo vai ficar um pouquinho maior porque as coisas demoram um pouco. I've never actually been in here. Seemed scary from the outside. Hmm. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Hmm. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas B. Wells. Mm. Ok. Tá, ah, eu não vou dedurar o cara porque o cara me descongelou, então. Beleza. I 
I've been feeling pretty low these days. Oh, I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Mm. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Tá, como é que eu vou falar com você de, se eu morrer? <risos> é meio de idiota assim, né? Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Hmm. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Hmm. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Not a bad idea, but I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No. That won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Much obliged. Beleza. Tirando você não é gentinho, né? Mas tá de boa. Tá, agora tem faltando. Ué, ele ainda? Não. É... Mais alguma coisa aqui? Ó, oh. a tu tá morta, meu jovem. O que, que eu sei? Tô morta. Mais nada. What can I do for you? Hum, medicina. of a fellow doctor I am a spacer's choice certified surgeon and if you must know I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene hmm. you know about Eugene how You know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, 
representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Uh. I'm sure that I have no other choice. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Beleza. Por isso que é bom, galerinha, a gente investir bastante em diálogo. E diálogo aqui é, é essencial para tudo. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you? I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelance ah, me, I could really use it. Is it exploradores demais? <laughs> a couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, law, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Hmm. Ah, my objective is all. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Tá, vamos. Pra onde? Ah, lá. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Hmm. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. 
Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Nossa senhora, você também não tá aguentando nada, hein? Tá osso. <risos> Vambora. Hum. O negócio tava marcando pra cá, né? Agora já tá marcando pra lá. É. Hum, só é bom, hein? alguma coisa, mas não é. Tá, mas cadê o cara, hein? Oh! to see you above, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... when I can't leave the house. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Uh. You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Then I'll buy you a drink sometime. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Beleza. Abernathy was sick with the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? It is. Deixa eu ver aqui que nós temos aqui. Missão secundária, missão secundária, missão secundária. Vamos ver se está a distância. Três e pouco. Minuto, companheiro. Ah, agora sim. Essa é quantos?
Eu acho que deu para a gente fragar o jogo. É... Pera, enquanto eu tô com roupa comum, ou você tá com roupa armadura? Devolver isso aqui, hein? Ele conhece aí. E eu vou pegar pra mim. Esse aqui. Isso aí. Mais certo. Eu sem nada. É... Então, galera, eu acho que deu pra refragar o jogo. É um jogo que você vai ter que explorar bastante. Vai ter muito diálogo. Tem bastante leitura, que isso é muito bom os jogos de RPG. E o mapa de mundo aberto, tá galera? Não é só esse mapa aqui que a gente está, a gente vai ficar indo em planeta em planeta. É... Então é. É isso galerinha. Se vocês quiserem mais desse vídeo, mais desse jogo, vocês deixam nos comentários. E a gente pode pegar e fazer mais um pouquinho. Só que aí eu vou fazer uma parte mais avançada, tá? De mais recurso, com mais coisa. Mais armas, né? É essencial também. Quer vir? Hum, aí tinha boa, hein? Mas tem aqui. Então é isso aí, galerinha. Futuro Rito Kiri Seniki. Falou, até mais. Fui.
him up smart. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the by. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Be more careful out there, Jeremy.